Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Brave Angler. Today, Swamp Bass, our humble little bass boat, is gonna get a much needed makeover. As you guys have probably noticed from our videos, the deck is ugly and non-functional because you slip and slide everywhere. <laughs> um, roll clip. So, we didn't want to put fifteen hundred dollars into this bass boat. I mean, I mean, it's not if we're, even worth fifteen hundred. Yeah, if we're being honest, I mean, we we really got it because it was an easy trade for our truck, and it floats, it goes, transoms in good condition for the most part. It's completely functional. So, and we live in Florida where boats are more expensive because people use them year round. So. Yeah. So today we are going to do a cheap DIY deck, and uh, we could do the foam. Yeah, we could do the carpet, but no. What we are gonna do is we are gonna do a bed liner. One of my buddies kind of told me I should try this and you know, like foam decking, you're looking at, you know, at least $250 to $500, depending on how many rolls of it you need. We spent 65, 24, like a hundred bucks um, for everything that we needed to do this. We got the roll on truck bed liner and then we got two of the turbo spray cans. Uh, this is gonna be like our finisher, um, just for a little extra texture on the outside to make it a little bit not uh, non-slip. But I think this is either gonna come out really bad or really good. I'm hoping for the good. We also got a couple more ins and outs. Uh, we got new seat plates uh, to put in there, uh, a new seat pole so Caroline could have a seat on the back of the boat. But, uh, but yeah, so let's get tearing off these doors so that we can prep the deck and then we'll paint the door separate, you know, get, try and cover as much ground as possible. All right, guys, let's get to it. That's unfortunate. Screw that one out. Thank you. 
All right, guys, so we got the deck on the boat done. Um, we let it cure for three days since we had good weather. I mean, it's a little wet right now because we did have it rain this morning. And it's looking like this might have been a waste of money. Show them why. Well, we're going to try. So we're going to try to solve here. it. If you come back here, so when we started removing tape, there were some spots. Like right there. Like right there. That, uh. It adhered to the tape. Yeah, so. And it's pulling it off. So we're going to try and use this knife to kind of trace the tape. And hopefully. But regardless, it looks a lot better. It does look better, but we might not do the doors. Because we might gonna have to eventually peel all this up and just do a regular deck. But for right now. Yeah, look at it's just coming up. That, I mean, I'm not too worried about that. Yeah, because the door hides that. Yeah. But yeah, that's what it's doing. It's like. All right guys, so we just finished doing the deck. Now this didn't turn out exactly like we wanted to, but it does look a heck of a lot better than what it did before. And it does provide a little bit of grip. Uh, we decided that we weren't gonna do our hatches um, just because we wanna see how much this actually, uh, how durable this is over time, just to see if we wanna you know, either keep this idea or go to like either a foam deck or a traditional carpet deck. But like I said, it does look a lot better. Uh, we went ahead and installed some uh, new seat plates. So we cover up those holes and Caroline will have her own little seat on the back now. So she's not sitting on the back deck. As you guys can see, there's still some stuff that we are installing. Like we got to put this wood back um, and the drain and stuff like that. But, like I said, it does look a lot better. It does provide a little bit more grip. And, like I said, we already got pretty much everything reinstalled on the front, the trolling motor and the, all that good stuff. So, if you like this kind of content, like, comment, and subscribe. Like I said, we're going to keep doing some little projects like this to save some money uh, on this boat. While we have her good old swamp bass. And uh, if you guys have any ideas for the old girl, you know, definitely let us know. We are we are open to it because, like I said, we are we are going to be getting a newer boat eventually. And but until then, we will keep experimenting with this boat. You know, find out if uh, any of the ideas work. Now, I will say, if you guys are looking at doing something like this to your boat, I probably wouldn't do it again if uh, given the opportunity. Just because like after spending a hundred dollars, it wasn't quite what I was wanting. And I would have rather invested that money to go towards like doing a uh, EVA foam deck, or like I said, going to the traditional carpet deck. But if you are looking for a cheap option just to get the job done, make it look a little better. I mean, it definitely did the trick. Uh, so like I said, we appreciate you guys coming out and checking out this video with us today. And as always, my friends, now go catch a fish.